so this is the in service on a Lumera 700. So first thing you obviously want to do is turn it on. It's going to take a little while to load up. Once it's loaded, it will come to this screen. Some facilities use different users. To switch users, you go to user. And there's your, yep, so you do have different users in here. So just select it. And then hit back. And it'll reload all the settings that you have set in there. Uh, with this scope, you will sometimes get errors when it first loads up. Just exit it. If the errors continue, shut the scope off. Turn it back on, they should go away. If not, call Prescott's um, and we'll be out here to fix it. One of the big errors that you do not want to ignore is if the light is getting low. If you hit light, you'll see how many hours you have left. So lamp one, you have 331 hours remaining. The backup lamp has 500. The problem with these xenon lights bulbs is that they don't dim down when they start losing life. And you don't think about changing them, but eventually they'll just blow up. Um, you can also check it in system settings. It's just easier to do it the other way. But lamp service life, same thing. If your foot pedal ever comes disconnected, you need to reconnect it. Do the same thing. Go to system settings and pairing. And then once you start the pairing, it'll give you the directions on what to do. Now, if you do need to change a bulb. Let's see how I can do this. So you have two bulbs in here. If you see the white line, white dot, it's showing us in bulb one. Mm -hmm. If you pop this out, you just swing this around and then push it in, and that's it. Now it will alert you every time you start the microscope up that you do have the, the backup bulb in. Okay.